when you're tired and sleep deprived and completely stressed out, everything seems really funny. Um, probably the funniest moment for me was on our very first day at Intellect. We were we were doing a lot of paperwork and um, like sorting out our laptops and things like that. And at some point during the day, and I do not know if this was intentional, they kind of just left us up here in the training center, all the grads, left us alone for like two hours. And we were like, can we go home? Are they done with us? Are they testing us? So me and one of the other grads, Marco, sat there and we had convinced ourselves that this was a test and the first grad to leave would get fired. And yeah, that, that was a pretty interesting two hours of us just sitting there and wondering, how do we know when we can leave? Are we gonna sit here till tomorrow? It was, it was quite, looking back, it was quite hilarious. <laughs> there was one of the other grads, his name was Dylan. And um, he's a fairly tall, thin guy with this big bushy afro. And he had this habit of um, every day, he would subtly stick a, a sticky note to somewhere obscure, like inside a cupboard or on a roof or on one of the walls um, with either something funny or a caricature of one of the other grads. Or um, there was a couple that he stuck up high enough so short people couldn't reach. And it, it literally just said, ha, huh, you can't reach me. So... Um, there, this was, it, it went on the entirety of boot camp, and by like the last week, there were sticky notes everywhere. And it was quite joyful to like open up a cupboard, and there was one that would be like, Hey, the coffee's not here, go look somewhere else. And then you know, you carry on going through these, these funny messages you just encounter randomly. That was very cool. Everything that was funny was quite subjective because after working crazy work hours, almost anything becomes funny. But I do remember that. Byron and Jeffrey ran into each other and Jeffrey's glasses basically snapped in half and he actually had to stick them together with press stick for like the rest of boot camp which cracked us all up. I think the one that went on for too long was um, wishing Stella a happy birthday until she was like 50 probably but yeah. <laughs> Dev day was awesome. Um, and I also had quite a, uh, an interesting event with it. I, um, I am in, unfortunately intolerant to gluten, which is most grains. Um, so Dev Day is awesome. The talks are great and things, and you also get fed with pizza and such. Um, since I can't eat normal pizza, I had so nicely asked uh, a few of the a, f a few of the organizers of the event if they could provide me uh, an alternative, which they went beyond I'd ever expect them to do. They called everyone, they made sure that there was an alternative there for me. Um, and the irony of the situation was that um, I arrived late. And so by the time I got there, people couldn't find me to give me this 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 pizza that they had got specially for me. And um, it ended with that pizza disappearing into the aether, no doubt, with thanks to the rest of my colleagues. Um, but regardless, it's still, I still appreciated all the effort anyway. That was awesome. There was a talk done by Jason. He was actually one of our presenters at boot camp. He taught us the section on spring and his talk was phenomenal. I think he had three sets of round applause from the crowd. And it's so amazing to hear people from within your own company giving such amazing talks. It's really inspiring.